heartbreak to healing to a new home tonight for country music fans. 14 months after the borderline massacre in Thousand Oaks, a new borderline opened tonight and people came out in force to show their support. Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks has been closed since that mass shooting in November of 2018. Yeah, the popular country western bar was home to generations of country music fans, and tonight they have a new home at a new Borderline Bar and Grill. Kick it on Chef Nguyen is live tonight in Agora Hills to show us. Jeff. Jeff, this new location is about eight miles from the original, and tonight you get a sense what this place means to this community. As I step aside, you can see there is a line to get in. The patio is filled. The owners tell us they moved all of the furniture over, and in doing so, they're able to honor the 12 lives lost. The pride that we feel from being able to build a dance floor for these people and to allow them to have what they have, we're lucky. It doesn't take long for anyone to realize hugs and handshakes this warm aren't about the opening of a new business. But a homecoming for Sue DeShriver and her friends. This is family. We've been dancing here since 1992. She's talking about country line dancing at the Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks, which was a site of a mass shooting more than a year ago. Last November, a huge memorial was held outside the original club. You guys are all set. But tonight, a major step forward with the opening of BL Dance Hall and Saloon in Agora Hills, where the main bar has 12 seats representing the lives lost. There's not any day that goes by that we don't think about them. Longtime patrons honor the victims with wristbands like these. But showing up tonight was also about supporting the dozens of staff members whose lives were altered by the tragedy. It's people I hang out with and go to breakfast with, and, you know, we play softball together. They're more like family than anything else, so I wouldn't be anywhere else. Which takes us back to the dance floor that was the centerpiece of the original location. The closure meant dance classes had to be scattered at homes and other venues for people like Sue DeShriver. But we're not all together. There's too many of us. So now we are. The owners of the borderline say that they are working to reopen the original location. In order to do so, they need to do some reconstruction, which means that they will have to meet the current building codes. We're live in Agora Hills, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.